Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here in SBG Concord, standing alongside the notorious Conor McGregor in what has turned into be a bit of a pre-fight ritual here, Conor. A couple of days before you jet off, as always, uh, we appreciate the time. But the main thing from the last interview that people stuck out on, we'll see what they say when Aldo crumbles in one round. Yeah. What did they say? <laughs> um, they said... You know, they, funny enough, they said nothing. This one, they went silent, so... It's nice to it's nice to dwell in the silence. Yeah. Cuz that's what you said shut down. That's what you, you kind of stressed on. You're like it'll be nice to just sit there and see what they're saying and you said I probably they'll probably say nothing. You said you wanted to see the result of the 155 fight yeah. before um, you made any decisions and ultimately do you think this is the bigger fight, the better fight? Then then what? Then Cerrone if Cerrone had won. Uh, whoever had won it was at the bigger fight so so I only pussied out that one big time. I mean, that's why he can fight again next week. He's fighting this week, is he? Or sometime soon. This weekend. Ask Aldo, can he fight this weekend? And he cannot fight. When you win by KO, by stoppage, by a true stoppage, you put your opponent out of action for 10 months to a year. He quit in there, inside that octagon. That's why he can go now next week and he can say, oh, I fight every week and this and that. But you can fight every week if you go in and quit. If, you, if, you, if you're willing to die in there, then he wouldn't be able to have them turn around. So, um, Dos Anjos won it. I chose him. I was hunting for that second belt, replicate what I'd done. Um, and that's it. Do you think that people are just too quick to say, oh, Connor's picking what he wants, Connor's doing what he wants? I it's am like picking what I want, and I am doing what I want. When you can rack up $400 million in revenue for the company in back to back events, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm living the whatever the fuck I want life. That's the life I live. Whatever I want, whenever I want. And I have earned that through hard work, through sacrifice, and that's it, through, through victory. Work has been a common theme the last couple of weeks I've noticed online. It's, it's, it's not training, it's work, hard work. We're working. Real work. You see this work. as your job. This is part of the packet and parcel, making weight, doing the work, fighting. Are other guys lacking this? Is, are you ahead of the game in that sense? Everywhere I look, I see fake work or pretend work or pose work so I put in real work hard work and that's it you know people pull out all the time and people make excuses all the time but I just get on with it put in the work and, and reap the rewards and, and that's it and that's why you're seeing me with everything and with complete control of this whole game slightly less media obligations this time around minus the big weight cut to 145 you must be feeling yeah, Leo, in, you, grab that bottle of water, please. you must be feeling in the best shape of your career yeah, I feel amazing I can show up with energy I mean this week what day is it now it's Wednesday since fucking Friday Saturday since Friday Saturday man I've got a serious amount of rounds under my belt this past since I got back from America even in America when I brought Peter over I got the fucking work here I'm coming for that belt I'm coming for the next belt I'm coming for the whole company. That's what I was going to ask, because it seems like a suggestion that John made that you could one day fight at 170 turned into Connor is going to fight at 170 at UFC 200. Look, look at everyone down there. 180 to 200, easy, everybody. Everyone I'm sparring is well over welterweight. I've got middleweights coming in fresh to try and wear me down. You know what I mean? So why not go up? They get slower and they get less free up there I feel they're stiffer they're, they're, they're even more stuck than the lightweight division so I'll keep going I'll keep eating keep training and keep going until fucking all the belts are wrapped up do you think you, you going saw me with that mountain what, what weight was he yeah. that mountain was fucking seven foot he was seven foot and I folded him so I can go all the fucking way you see that meme where, where they gave me Roy Nelson's belly do you see that it's yeah. floating around who knows I might go beard. all the way fucking up with that Nah, that's straggly. Look, that's mad hillbilly looking. I wouldn't go that far now. I might trim. I need a trim on the old beard. But uh, I'm, f I'm afraid of no one. I'll go up and fight anyway. And that's it. Anyone can come down and step in that cage with me or any cage and see, see how they fare. But nobody fares well, that's for sure. There's a bit of a... That's, to me, you sound like a proper samurai here. Technique is going to beat everything. My skill is going to beat everything. It doesn't matter the size of the opponent. I'm quicker, I'm better, I'm faster, I'm stronger. I'm going to win no matter what. That's what true martial arts is about. Somewhere along the somewhere along the line it became about. I don't know what it became about, but it didn't become about martial arts anymore. You know? How many times have you seen a champion instantly go whoop? How many, how many years have you heard about super fights, this, that, and nothing? 
How many times you heard about a little sore toe, an opponent bounce? You know what I mean? That's there's pussies everywhere in this game, and that's it. I don't know. I'm here to fight. I'm here to win every belt, and then I'm and then I'm gone, and then I'll see the game later. I'll walk away from this game. Set, I'll set it ablaze and walk away, and that's it. So. 25 million in the bank, two gold belts and a jiu-jitsu black belt. Three years ago you said, that's what you want to finish on. I yeah. think you've passed two of them pretty quickly. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Um, I, I remember saying that, yeah. Um, and, st and I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. Just two quick things before I let you go. Irish fans, we're, I'm always thinking of them, I'm always looking at it, yeah. I'm looking good, at the flights. Good, because so am I, fuck Vegas. Fuck Vegas, serious. It's a bit uh, of a flight. Coast. I want the East Coast next. If they don't give me Ireland, give me East Coast. I'll go back to Boston. I know they're lobbying for New York. We had a great time when we went to Boston and the East Coast. It's not as far as a five hour flight. But f fuck it, I go back to the old team, no problem, or the tree arena, or the, what, the point. I go back there and fight. I don't care if it's 9,000 or whatever. If I've outgrown that, I haven't outgrown my home fucking town. I'm still fucking here. I still show up here every day. I still do the same fucking thing. I'm still me. So, Vegas, this one. Vegas, next one, probably because I committed to a UFC 200. I did commit to that. But then fucking East Coast or Dublin. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to carry on. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get the, get the wins and get the fight. Stay busy. In your ideal head, then maybe East Coast or Dublin, third quarter of 2016, fourth quarter of 2016? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Have they, they, we they haven't announced the Dublin show yet, right? I mean, who else is that? There's some, there's some young, young up and comers coming up that I'd love to get them on again. I got, I got my teammates on way back. We got some teammates on recently, Artem and that. Let's get the next generation on. It's my fucking pleasure to keep, to keep bringing my people in with me here and get these shows on and, and do it. But East Coast, one or two more West Coast, then East Coast, then Dublin, and then that's it. It's Dublin all the fucking way. That's what I'm thinking. Finally then, because there was a bit of talk about it and rumours about it, that a McGregor promotions thing maybe someday after the it's UFC. All, it's all horse shit, that is. I have a great relationship with Lorenzo and a great relationship with Dana. Don't get me wrong, I'm climbing that corporate ladder every damn de day and we will be neck and neck. Maybe somewhere along the line I will take that lion's share. But we will always be together. That's... Loyalty is what I have. They they gave me this. They are helping me with this, and I am helping them. We are a team. So, I think much respect to Dana, much respect to Lorenzo, much respect to everyone involved in the UFC. I'm not trying to break out. I'm just trying to grow, be eye to eye, and get my share of the fucking pie, and that's it. It's And they know that. I'm a, I, I say that straight out the back. But I will always be in association with Zuffi and, and, and the great team at the UFC. It's an honor to... Uh, grow with this company on that then finally finally I promise there's been a bit of Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor you know um, gates and stuff like that your gates have improved every single time the numbers have improved every single time the pay-per-views have improved every single time where is your peak if you say you're in and out here and within a couple of years and you're done what do you think what do you see the end figure the end Conor McGregor the benchmark of UFC of MMA pay-per-view value Paper, the pay-per-views will never stop I mean, that $77 million gate that they got for the Manny Pacquiao made with a fight and it wasn't, the production was shy. The fight wasn't, the fight was, I, I enjoyed the fight. Floyd was crafty and masterful, but it wasn't worth what, was, what, the, what they asked the fans to pay. So this one is estimated at $13 million. Hollywood are all over, all over it now. Hollywood want a piece of this. So that, that crowd will start to filter in and the gates will continue to rise as the American audience continues to lap up, I feel. Um, I'm touching markets that the UFC have never uh, touched before. So we'll continue to rise and continue to grow and see where it goes, but the sky is the limit. Connor, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck in Vegas. Thank you. Thanks so much.